Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not... Bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog.
It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Heard or seen any? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Can't reach that brick. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Okay. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. 
You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Even if I had a weapon. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem.
They really want to get into that room. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! over there, head upstairs and get out of here. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Exactly what I was thinking. Be careful getting up close to these guys. I can't always cover you. Let's start taking these guys out.
Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice-big-sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. 